Hello and welcome to the concept number two of 33 JS concepts every JavaScript developer should know. 33 JavaScript concept number two, primitive types. Um, the last one was call stack and today we're gonna see primitive types. Uh, I forgot to tell you something about the call stack and that thing I forgot to tell you is some error that happens when people blow up the stack. So what does that mean? That means maybe I think you have seen this before. Hello. We have, for example, two functions, right? And this function we'll call the function by. And then function by. And this function we'll call the function hello. This is something I forgot to explain. And now I'm going to call the function hello. And this one calls hello. So I'm going to call hello, hello is going to call bye, bye is going to call hello, and we're going to stay there forever until the maximum call stack has exceeded, size exceeded. This is like 1,000 or 16,000, I don't know how many, but there is a limit into how many functions you can put on a JavaScript stack in the case of Chrome or on the uh, JavaScript engine or whatever. So this is an error that is, is very common that happens a lot when you call a function that calls the same function in over and over again. So it's useful to know what the fuck does maximum call stack size exceed. That means that on the call stack, there's just too many functions that you put and none of them are being finished. That means that there is a uh, error. All right, primitive types, all right? You need to look at primitive as, uh, as like the, <clears throat> the primitive times, you know, like our ancestors, primitive, caveman kind of shit. So primitive is like the original types, all right? Original, you can say. So you have strings. Also, you can do a string like this, right? Also, you can do a string like this now. This also could work. Um, that's one. The other type is numbers, um, full integers, or floats. 12.5 and 5, blah, 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 blah. We know this. The other type is true or false. True or false. All right. There's another one called null. No. There is another one called undefined. There is another one called N A N. All right. So these last three are the ones that people don't usually understand the difference. So we're going to start from the beginning. You know strings, right? This is a string, right? So the string has to start with this and it has to start finish with this same thing quotes. Now, if you open a string with this quote, you need to finish it with the same quote. Whoops, sorry. If you do this, it wouldn't work, right? So you need to start with this quote, hello, and you finish it with that quote, all right? The same as hello, and you finish with that quote. That is the rule of the strings. Now, how do you, for example, if we're talking about this, let's say you wanna do hello, they call me the awesome man. This will be an error because the awesome man will is basically JavaScript thinks that this is a variable name, three of them, and they're not, it is text. So here on strings, for example, we have a little trick to escape them. To escape a character, all you have to do is do this, and then he will realize that this, what we wanna do is use this on the text and not at the end of the string, all right? I know many of you already know this thing, but whatever. And now it will work. It will say, hello, they call me the awesome man. All right, so we have, everybody knows what a string does. I'm not gonna get into that. We also have numbers and floats, uh, sorry, numbers, which is integers and float. We know that an integer is a two and a float is 2.3 point, point something, right? That's easy. We also have true or false, true like this and false like this. Of course, this is wrong. That is a string, just like this is a string, all right? This is not a boolean. Boolean is true or false. Um, what about undefined? Undefined and no are a couple of types that people confuse a lot. So this is the thing. Undefined means that it hasn't been defined. No means that it has been defined to non-existence. All right. And that is a very different thing. So for example, when I declare a variable like this, right? And if I do hello, hello is undefined. So if I check, I will do um, console log, for example, hello equals undefined. And that's true. All right. 
That is true because hello is undefined. So I can check if a variable hasn't been defined. Now, what happens if I check is hello no? No, hello is not no. They're, they don't have anything, right? They don't have a value. I mean, they have a value, but there is no, there is no string. There is no number. There is no Boolean, but hello is not undefined. Just like, sorry, hello is not no, is undefined. And that's a big, big difference that might help you later on in your future of JavaScript. When you want to leave something as something, for example, hey, we haven't handled this. Uh, hello, yeah. When we haven't handled this, it's undefined, so you can check. What about no? No is actually, hey, this thing doesn't exist, all right? And that is an explicitly saying, hey, JavaScript, yes, hello is equals to no. That means, yo, hello actually is pointing to a value that doesn't exist. No is pointing to non-existence, but that in itself, it's a value, a non-existent value. So those are very different things because when something points to no, it's because it has been intentionally set to that, all right? It has intentionally been set to no. Now, if I call, for example, jelly, jelly is not defined. Jelly will be undefined, right? It's not defined, right? But it's not jelly is no, not at all. It's very, very different. Okay, now there is another type in JavaScript that is called symbol, but we are not gonna see symbol in this video because symbol is a ES6 um, feature, which is a little bit complicated to grasp. So we're not gonna see symbols here. Maybe I make a video only with ES6. Actually, we have a course on ES6, go check it out now. We wanna see symbols in depth because it's a little bit more technical. All right, so again, strings, numbers, true or false, and undefined, and also no. Now, what is NAN? NAN. NAN means not a number. That is also a type. NAN is usually the result of uh, some math equation that went wrong. And this is a way to let you know this doesn't work. For example, if I do this, I don't know, I'm not sure. If I do math power, of five, hello, I don't know, NAN, exactly. You cannot do five power of hello. It's not a number, all right? That is very, very important. Yep, hello is hello divided by six is not a number. And this is very useful as well. So how do you check for types? This is something that many people don't know how to check for types. All you have to do is use the type of keyword. You can just do this and it will tell you what it is. All right, people, I will see you on the next video. This one was very, very simple. It's always good to know. Remember the difference between undefined, no, and not a number. I will see you on the next one, which will be value types and reference types. Well, see you there, bye.